Welcome. In front of me is a Huawei P60 Pro and today I will show you a couple tweaks and tricks you can do on this device. So we're gonna start off by going into the, uh, the settings and the home screen and here we will find home screen style which I personally like to change it to the drawer mode which is the uh, what I would consider as a standard for Android devices which this is uh, but for some reason they call standard what Apple uh, uses by default uh, I understand that they're trying to copy Apple but it's Android so I'm gonna select the drawer mode which will remove some of the apps from your home screen because there would usually be more of them and now you can access all your apps by swiping down and you can add uh, specific ones to your home screen and obviously if you have a lot of applications it shows suggested ones which are I think most commonly used by you and under that you'll have basically all the apps alphabetically organized so you can just uh, kind of swap between the letters you can see it shows you the letter right here and select each of the apps in that letter so it allows you to quickly navigate to uh, through all the apps and find them a little bit easier moving on to the next option it's going to be what uh, well, Huawei refers to as super device uh, I hope this is lost in translation because it doesn't sound uh, anything like it just sounds like some kind of child named it to be honest but the actual functionality of this is not that bad so when you have more more than one de device from Huawei specifically uh, they will work in conjunction with each other so that can be earbuds uh, laptops tablets phones all that stuff and for instance one of the options that they give you is uh, multi-device gallery and as an example uh, cross device clipboard this one was actually going to be one of the more interesting at least in my opinion because for instance you could copy some kind of link on your laptop and then it would automatically be a pasteable on your phone which obviously that's pretty good so there we go moving on to the next option it's the dark mode which you can find under the display and brightness and it's right over here at the top now in here you can either turn it on permanently by flipping this switch right here enable all day or as a schedule which will turn on dark mode at 10 p.m and turn it back off at 7 a.m giving you what i would consider best of both worlds light mode during the daytime and dark mode during the night time moving on to next option which is going to be also under the display and brightness it's the screen refresh rate which is right over here now Huawei tends to hide their screen refresh rate uh, or not screen refresh rate but frame rates uh, option in developer options so they are not present there at all at least they weren't in Nova 11i so I assume it's not gonna be here now the reason I mentioned this is because typically I would uh, check out what the actual refresh rates going down to but I am unable to do this right here and the only thing I can go by uh, in terms of refresh rates is a balanced smooth display and battery life with maximum refresh rate of 120. That's the dynamic one. Now just to point out why I like to check this is because dynamic on other devices can go all the way up to one frame per second from 120. And as you would probably imagine, one frame per second when the display is on will significantly decrease the strain on the device's battery. Uh, compared to for instance 60 which is 60 times more refresh rate per second so uh, I have no way of actually checking it out unless from maybe like spec uh, spec look and what the technology is used here and just checking what that is but and that's a little bit too much work for a casual user that just wants to know what the lowest def uh, refresh rate of the display is so I will just go for the negative here and say that it's probably 60 I don't care if it's correct or not considering Huawei is doing a little bit too much to kind of make it difficult to figure it out um, but the reason I'm putting this out is because the 120 to 60 um, is a pretty decent option for most of the people but there will be people that might actually have a better use of the standard option which will be running the display permanently at 60 as a maximum refresh rate and because of that you might experience a better battery life so if that is your primary focus on your device for your battery to last as long as it's possible uh, you can change it to standard and this will obviously be achieving uh, that but it's only limited to screen on time obviously once you turn off the screen meaning lock the device like this 
uh, this will have well zero impact but when you're using the device it does make a difference now moving on to the next option it's the screen color mode which we have here color mode and temperature and we have normal or vivid i believe vivid is enabled by default which personally i am not the biggest fan of vivid modes on well almost any display because they are typically a little bit too vibrant a little bit too uh too like blue and uh it's a little bit too harsh as a color itself so i like to change it to normal which as you can see it does kind of vary i don't think the camera is picking it up picking this up all that well uh, but just kind of looking at it the main difference will be that the white background anything that is white uh, with vivid it's a little bit uh, bluish it has a tint to it while normal changes white to more of a warm color kind of like a yellowish orangish mixture uh, which again it's still trying to be white just don't don't forget that but you can see this kind of like change in temperatures uh, depending on which one you choose and also it looks like the um, looks like the normal one is srgb p3 calibrated uh, automatically apply the standard color space srgb uh, best suited for types of uh, content being displayed so it tries to represent the colors as they were supposed to look like so if you're watching a movie as an example typically that would be something uh, close to what the uh, creators of the movie in the vision the movie to actually look like which is obviously not the thing when you enable vivid mode and it just cranks up the saturation the contrast and all that stuff to a little bit too high of a level so there we go now this being said this were all the tweaks and tricks that i want to show you so if you found this very helpful don't forget to hit like subscribe and thanks for watching Thank you.